Hey, it's Magnus here. Today, we're gonna to be cutting this in half. Yes, a glass bottle of Coca-Cola. Now, I don't drink Coca-Cola. I really don't even like the stuff. But, I am really curious to see if the water jet cutter can cut it in half like that. Straight up and down the middle. Um, interestingly, I think, I think we'll put it in full. Like, there's no need to to empty it out or anything, you know, why not? It may as well leave it full and let it all empty out. It should look good on video. So, yes, fingers crossed on this one. So here we have the coke bottle. It cut way better than I thought it would. I was thinking that it might it might tip up when it was being cut, you know, it might go like that as the as the, the water jet cup would come along and it might move. I certainly put plenty of uh, clay down to hold it. But no, it, it cut really, really well. Hopefully that's focusing for you. And believe it or not, have a look at this, like, it's actually quite a clean, a clean cut, like, I can safely put my finger along, it's not cutting me, but, I mean, it's not super smooth, but it's certainly not sharp. Just the base of it there. Now, the lid is just, the lid here is kind of just held on, I'll take that off, but, so, you know, just cuts the lid as well. Now, there's something interesting about this, and that's... If you have a look down here, so this is the way I cut it. So I cut it, I cut it top down, I cut it top down basically like this. And so you can see the cut up here, it's very clean, it's a very, it's a very clean cut. And on the bottom, it's, you know, really, it's not, it's really not as clean. However, see, if you take a look up at the front, we'll just look at one of them. So you see that, you see all this frosting here? Now the reason for that is, I don't know if you, if you remember from the video, we started, we started cutting here, and we kept going along, all the way along there. And instead of moving it down there, the nozzle, as it cut, we left it up here. So there was a huge gap from here to here as it cut. Huge gap. And so what happens, when you're cutting with a nozzle, it, it's not a perfect, you know, it's not a perfect cut. The water isn't bursting out vertically. It goes like that, it sprays. The water is already spread out by the time it hits there. When the nozzle's up here, it's already spread out. And so there's, there's basically, it's, I'm not sure if you realize this, but it's, it's sand, it's very fine sand called garnet that does the cutting. And so it's spreading out and it's basically like, it's it's hitting the glass like a like a machine gun. It's just just um 
you know, and that's what's giving it that frosting effect. But it still cuts it okay. It just just a bit messier. So I'll, I'll show you the I'll show you the cut again, just so you can see. So you can see how messy that is. But otherwise, you know, it's 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 done it pretty well. Well, I have to tell you, that's been the most enjoyable cut I've done so far because I left it full when it cut, and so. You know the water got in, it, the fizz, the fizz stuff. It started fizzing. Uh, it actually went over all over the iPhone, which was which was recording the zoomed in look. But uh, yeah, that was really really awesome. I really enjoyed that one. So thank you for watching this video, and let me know in the comments what else you want me to cut.